The heroin epidemic continues to take lives in Manatee County, and as the death toll rises, the medical examiner's office has performed a record number of autopsies, leaving staff and facilities overwhelmed. ABC 7's Kate Flexter joins us live from Manatee County with more on these new consequences from the drug overdose epidemic that's happening up there. Kate? Good evening, Adam. The Manatee County Sheriff's deputies are often some of the first to respond to those calls of heroin overdoses, but they're not the only ones feeling the impact of this epidemic. The medical examiner's office says it's never had to perform this many autopsies, and they say that they're finding the facilities are far beyond capacity. In July alone, they had to perform more than 100 autopsies, the majority of which came from Manatee County, many of them heroin overdoses. And as those deaths continue, it's an epidemic that's having a serious impact on the community. We are doing more autopsies. We're having to uh, house more bodies for a longer period of time. And that's been a big strain on our staff, both our technical staff working in the morgues and also in our, our staff that are performing the autopsies and doing all the support work for those cases. Manatee County people need to believe this is a problem and they need to see what they can to help stop this problem. We need to all join forces and bring our county back to what it used to be. Also important to note that today marks the start of a national week to raise awareness about the heroin epidemic. Live in Manatee County, Kate Flexter, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.